Yaki, having been booped off, puts up a safety wall so that his future teammates will have a harder time falling off the map. Safety first, guys. Brought to you by the Florida Mayhem. Oh, hello. We've preemptively nanoed our boy Karayan. If only there was something to stop him, like a Maywall. Hmm. We are flummoxed. We've also made walled off Karayan from them. And Krillin's in the back. I think attempting a sleep. He is indeed. He misses the sleep. And now BQB's come in with the flash. Gets the fan. Excellent trade there, Krillin. Top tier. 10 out of 10. World class player. Going in, boys. Gargoyle is forced to use for self destruct. While the self destruct is active, they send him a blizzard. And Karayan decides to go for the slam. Oh, Shui rotates it with the ice block. Bernard, not so lucky. There's the freeze. They slam the frozen Reinhardt, who is also in a blizzard and is also ice walked. Do London hate Karayan? Do, do they have it? And they anti him. They've put every single resource available into Karayan right now. <laughs> Fuck this guy in particular. Now J Mac turns around and is like, oh, you think just because I'm frozen, I'm not going to dominate you? <laughs> J Mac had the chance to kill both Gangnam Jin and Karayan, but no. We must wall ourselves in with the Ice Block Mei. This is the ultimate strategy, the world class brain power of Shui and J Mac together. And now Yaki walls Karayan in. What? Why are you doing this? Why, why are you undermining your own Reinhardt? <laughs> Both of these Mays hate their own Rhymes. Okay, they're holding aggressively now, because J-Mac has the slam. Oh, J-Mac can get walled in here. This could be a bad idea. Hopefully he moves away when he sees Yaki coming. No, he moves in. He goes for the slam instead. He's been walled in and Karayan's got the shield right there. What are you doing, cuz? This is a mess. Go on, Karayan. You gotta charge him. Punish him for this insolence. How did he int this heart? They give for Nano! They give for Nano to Karayan! You don't need this. You just blocked his shatter. You've got him walled in. Why are you nanoing Karayan? Why? Even when you win, you lose. <laughs> and they don't even put the wall down so that Karayan can swing again. What are they doing, lads? Okay, we're swinging on Karayan now. <gasps> Will he block it? <laughs> no, he will not. No, he will not. Karayan sees it coming. He misaims though. No, Karayan. Not like this, cuz. After hacking J Mac, BQB proceeds to EMP. No, we don't. <gasps> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. Did BQB just EMP while getting hacked? BQB gets the hacked notification. BQB knows, you know how I'm gonna counter this? I'm gonna hack him right back. And then gets hacked out of his EMP! What a clown! What an absolute clown! He cannot be helped. This man is bad at the video game. Two out of ten. Oh, Gargoyle's dead. Crawling gets bad. <gasps> oh, this is bad. Glister, 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 my son, my man. With your long arms and your big brain. I'm gonna need you to hide behind this wall right now. Mm, behind the wall! Behind the wall! Not like this. Also, good job, J-Mac. You were helping. This is a man of after my own heart. The charge. Oh, Karayan tries to melee him to get the burst damage. They're going off the edge. They're going all the way off the edge. But the thing is, Karayan can jump back. It's beautiful. Well, I appreciate J Mac's sentiment. J Mac makes the engagement while they're still setting up. This is new tempo from London. This is very ballsy. Gets punched out. <gasps> but they've already used the nano. They've already used the nano. J Mac traded the nano for just like a shield. Oh, bruh. Not like this. You get slapped into a corner and you're like, I know what, I will EMP, boys. That's the Giga Brain. That's the largest brain available. And then he wakes up J-Mac after he gets put to sleep by Gangnam Jin. This man is Giga Inting. And then J-Mac's like, all right, boys, I'm going to head out. 
Prepare for a sad story, team. Here is a sad story. J-Mac drops down, uses his barrier to try and save himself from the, the pesky May. BQB channels the dead eye. The Hulk brings back J-Mac after his jump. He gets frozen, and there he goes. And then Glister, just to top it all off, sticks in a Ressa shield. Mmm, tasty failure. Oh, Yaki now. Now, this is an advanced technique that everyone should learn. Uses his wall here to gain some height so he can be closer to the Pharah to attempt the assassination. Hits the body shot still. Another one right to the knee. This man went to the... Da <gasps> it's two in the knee. We have ourselves another Dante. A Skyrim pvp -er. Hearing the self-destruct, Yaki goes for the blizzard. Let's have a look at what targets are available. Um, Just J-Mac. Yep. Yep, just J-Mac. Let's see how he does. Give a performance review. Uh, this is a very effective zoning blizzard, as you can see. Evidently learned from Color Hex. <laughs> Did they sleep? The sleep actually causes Karayan to miss some shots. Interesting compound failure. Did, wait a second, are they just solo blizzard J-Mac again? So J-Mac engages, they use the sound barrier, they eat the flashbang, this is the moment. I've already frozen J-Mac, it's time to uber freeze him. Enjoy a personalized blizzard, bitch, very effective. Very, very effective. J-Mac begins to charge. This is my favorite way to begin a sentence. Oh, they get the mutual stun. In comes the Deadeye. BQB's got the perfect angle on J-Mac right now. Sh we actually let's loose with a blizzard at short range. And our eats. He eats the Deadeye. He eats the Deadeye and comes on. He's like, dunk. BQB slides across the table. This table was pre-greased by the London Spitfire. It's a very important part of their strategy. The grease on the table means that BQB's toes can't touch the side. See you later. All comes up. J-Mac, please don't go in front of it. Good, they back off from the wall. Now it's Shui's turn. J-Mac just shattered. J-Mac just shattered into a flashbang, I think. This man gained the confidence. He was put up high by the wall and was like, Haha, there's nothing that can stop me now. Little did he know, there were multiple things that could stop him. Should we run through them? We have a, uh, a Reinhardt shield. We have a, uh, a flashbang. Uh, we have a Yaki. This could have been a big shatter, but he didn't account for the crucial part of setting up a shatter, which is the enemies. And it would have been blocked by Karayan anyway. Too much confidence J-Mac had. J-Mac is already slept. He's almost frozen too. He gets walled in as well. J-Mac goes for the fire strike. <gasps> Kills Chris! No! Chris, you had him dead to rights! He was all yours! He was all yours! And you just, you just catch a fire strike. Gang Nanjin looking over and just want like, what fucking clowns am I working with here? At least Yaki's still here. He'll freeze up J-Mac. Shui makes it up. <gasps> Chris boops him back into the blizzard. Yaki misses the headshot. Yaki misses the headshot on the frozen Shui. No. No, no, no. Bernard is confused as to the location of this May. Turns around and finds them. One shot will do it. One shot connects. Bernard takes out the May, and then there's a C9. Well, I guess, yeah, that, that is a C9. How many people are here? Uh, yes. Four people are present. That is a confirmed C9. -er. That's a crunch nine, my captain. Guess himself a... <gasps> Gargoyle, no. Gargoyle's just absolutely sabotaged Chris. Look at this. Gargoyle is like, ah... Losing Chris, are you, J-Mac? Don't worry. I'll give you a boost, buddy. And Joey's like, oh, thanks, bro. That was so nice. Now I can continue to kill Chris. Excellent team play here from the Florida Mayhem. The Sky High Deadeye. Oh, no. Oh, mate. J-Mac just got so fucked. Did he get fucked by Shui, though? This is the question we must answer. So j Mike's getting frozen. He's having a dead eye channeled on him. Karine begins to charge. He's got the nano. j Mike makes it around the wall. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The backboard is provided by this little bastard. I hated j Mike anyway. Thank you, Shui. 
very cool. Karayan now has the option to charge him back into the... <gasps> Why charge? Why charge, team? Why charge when you could always use the Shatter? On a frozen Reinhardt. And an Ice Block. Of course, Karayan! Of course! Oh, Chris boots J-Mac into Yaki. Noting that Yaki is the sacrifice that the Mayhem have offered to the Spitfire. If a Spitfire take the sacrifice, they will allow the rest of the Mayhem to leave unharmed. The sacrifice is taken. And the Mayhem flee. Oh, okay. Karine's about to use his Earth Shatter against j -Max Shield and Shui. Does Shui have Ice Block? Is anyone else in range? Doesn't look like it. Let's see how he does. Ah, uh, yeah, that's about as about as much as you'd expect. That went very well. Good job, Karine. Oh, no. The same thing again. They haven't pressured Yaki at all. So if Yaki has any kind of reactions, he's got this. As predicted, he's got this. Uh, Karine had a shield up anyway. Excellent shadow efficiency from both of these right hearts. The perfect wall. Oh, Karayan goes for the slam. He's walled off. He's up against a Nano Rhine and a fucking May again. Oh, unfortunate. J Mac's ready for him. Just gets completely alphaed. J Mac lets his anger flow, kills Karayan, and then engages for Shatter, potentially onto just Chris, who is now climbing. The Shatter does not work as Chris is climbing. Excellent rage mechanics there from j -Mac. The primal rage bleeds through even into his Reinhardt play. Well, oh, Gargoyle needs healing, but so does Karayan. Gargoyle has used to self-destruct. What is this slam? What have I just witnessed? j -Mac, what have you done? He, he's, he slammed nobody. My man has slammed no one. How did this happen? j -Mac rolls out into the enemy blizzard, thinking, you know what needs to happen here? This needs a slam, but Karayan's got a shield up, so instead, We'll slam the self-destructing mech and see what we can get done. Just barely misses Gargoyle as well. Very, very professional of him. Very, very professional intimidation. Oh? Okay. What? No, you did not just roll into that bomb. What are you doing? Glista, not like this, cuz. Never like this. Krillin dies to the bunny blaster shots I have to so He dies to the bunny blaster shots when Glista sees the bomb and leaves. And then Glista thinks, was that a bomb? Hmm, better go check. Rolls in, takes a look. Oh yeah, that's a bomb. Oh yeah, that's a bomb. <laughs> Why? Chris, you gotta heal him. Chris, you gotta heal him. Chris, you gotta heal him. Chris didn't heal him. He had armor pack. He had armor pack. Oh no, lads. We've let our support die. It's 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 terrible. Now Gangnam Jin is disengaging. He will take the support door versus the enemy Anna. Both of them exchange the first shot. Krillin tries to get away. Second shot misses from Gangnam Jin. Goes for the nade. Doesn't heal himself, unfortunately. A bit of a misplacement, but does anti-heal Krillin. Krillin jumps over the next shot. He hits his own. He's outdueling Gangnam Jin at this point. The next shot from Gangnam Jin also misses. Krillin's next shot misses too. They miss for sleep. The Annas are trying their best. The next shot misses too. The pressure is getting to Gangnam Jin. Krillin looking for his next shot. He's taking the time to line it up. They both miss another one. The nade impacts directly with Gangnam Jin. And while he dies, he hits the killing blow on Krillin as well. Both Annas simultaneously int.